Bismillah Rahman Rahim. So today we are going to estimate the number of tiles required in a room and we are going to make a spreadsheet excel spreadsheet which is uh, very easily going to calculate the number of tiles for you. So let us start I'm going to first give a heading of number of tiles calculation and I'm going to increase its size going to give it red color and going to give it some border here now I have to ask user to enter some uh, the size of the room so enter the size of room is equal to and I am going to paste it here and I am going to merge this and here you know that we are we take input in the yellow cells so here I am going to ask for the length and the units I'm going to write here fit I'm going to merge this length by width which is also in feet I'm going to merge this as well so here whatever the user is going to enter in feet we are have to convert that in inches so I'm going to write this uh, multiply with 12 to get the answer in inches and I am also going to do the same thing for this one this multiplied by 12 to get the answer in inches uh, that we are doing because uh, the size of tile we are going to take the input in inches so that is why we need to convert so let's see we enter 10 feet by 12 feet for example and the answer is uh, converted into inches automatically so this is good so let us uh, I'm going to select control a and I'm going to center align them okay now I'm going to enter the size of tile there are different sizes of tiles available in the market um, 2 feet by 2 feet is also available and 31.5 uh, by 31.5 is also available smaller sizes are also available whatever size is available you can just enter the size here uh, in inches and it is going to calculate the number of tile for you I'm going to take the input of the size of tiles in inches so I'm going to write here inch double click here to set the width of the column equal to the text width so let us say 24 inches by 24 inches is the size of tile which we are going to use and let's say we don't need to convert here yes we need to calculate the area for the area I am going to write here area of room is equal to so I am going to calculate the area of room in inches this multiplied by this and the answer will be in inch square and I have to convert that to superscript okay now I have to calculate the area of tile area of one tile and this is equal to this multiply by this so you got to know the basic idea that we have to divide the area of room with the area of one tile it is actually going to give us the person uh, the number of tiles which we are going to require to fill that area now one more thing is when you are going to cut the tiles if you want to see how to cut the tiles I have uploaded uh, two videos in which you can see the tile cutting methods and the proper tile installation and the layout procedure um, you can go through that videos I am also going to share the link so you can see that the persons are going to waste the tiles sometimes intentionally and sometimes unintentionally the tiles break so for that you have to uh, buy some extra tiles and we are going to consider that margin which is a factor of safety so I'm going to enter here percentage of wastage now it is totally up to you whatever percentage you have to enter here it is going to calculate for you let's say we enter 10% as the percentage of wastage so the number of tiles I'm going to calculate uh, by adding this 10% as well so let us first calculate the number of tiles without adding 10% and then let's see after adding the wastage how much tiles we get 
number of tiles without wastage so let's first see this how it is going to be done you have to just divide that with area of one tile you get 30 tiles this is your answer without wastage but it is always preferable that you consider some wastage because they always break the tiles so it is uh, better for you to add the percentage of now this divided by 100 you get to know the percentage of tiles which are going to be wasted this I am going to add with this so now is the amount of tiles which you have to purchase from the market which is 33 tiles it means that a size of 10 feet by 10 feet is going to be requiring 33 tiles of 2 feet by 2 feet to be completely uh, placed in that room to be completely filled and if you want to verify that let's just verify that okay we have a room of 10 feet by 10 feet and the size of tile is 24 by 24 let's open AutoCAD and try to verify that I'm going to write here 10 feet by 12 feet now this 10 by 12 this is going to be my room size so this is my room and now I'm going to draw a tile 2 feet by 2 feet is going to be my tile and I'm going to group these lines into one uh, box or one object which I can easily place so I am going to move that from this corner to this corner now I am going to copy that I'm going to see how many tiles are actually required to fill this room and whether our calculation is correct or not so while copying them I'm not going to use the spaces between the tiles because uh, because these are very small and this is usually two millimeters to three millimeters it is very less and you are actually going to require a tile a bigger tile because when you are going to consider the spaces as well it is it is not going to be enough so that it is going to save you one tile complete no it is not going to happen so you have to purchase the complete tile that's why it is going to be on our benefit that you uh, purchase more tiles which are actually going to be uh, used in your placement so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to select M as a multiple copying objects so just going to click and these are actually 100% correct so if you are just going to place a 2 millimeter gap here as well so this tile is going to be uh, moved to the right side 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, plus two. so 8 millimeters it is going to be placed to the right and it is going to be cut so you are you are not required to uh, do this you can either uh, manage the margin by both tiles or you can just place them according to your own requirements both tiles should be uh, you can say placed sometimes the persons who are going to place the tiles they don't actually leave the margin but I don't uh, prefer that because uh, the problem is the tiles pop up and I have uploaded a complete video on that uh, how the tiles pop up and how do you feel about that and how to repair that you can also see the video in my uh, YouTube tutorials you can uh, see them and can see why the spacers are required or the spaces are required in between the tiles so these are one two three four five five tiles and we are going to see how many tiles are actually required to complete this 10 feet by 12 feet room I am now going to copy them and these are hundred percent filling the area so one two three four five and one two three four five six five six is thirty so we have thirty tiles here so in our calculation 30 tiles without any wastage so if you uh, see that you just require 30 tiles to be placed and if there are some doors some uh, irregular shapes they those require cutting and when they cut they can damage the tile sometimes while handling the tiles they can cut if work is performed 100% per correctly then you don't require any extra tiles so it is uh, always preferred that you buy some uh, three to four tiles extra tiles or depending upon the uh, you can say the shape of the uh, complexity of the room 
the amount of cutting required it is going to tell you how much tiles you require so here the number of tiles with wastage are uh, shown to you as 33 so this is a very simple procedure how to calculate the number of tiles okay gee, now we have the number of tiles required so uh, if you want to calculate the cost of the tiles required as well let us continue with the cost of the tiles required so cost of tiles is going to be see first of all i'm going to uh, enter the cost of one pack of tiles packet of tiles cost of one packet of tiles is equal to so it depends which brand you are taking and what is what is the de design of the tile and uh, what is the quality of the tile so from the market you can get the idea how much is the cost of one packet of the tile one packet of the tile is equal to 1.44 meters so 1.44 meters and it contains four tiles of two feet by two feet i can show you the picture as well Um, uh, if you want to enter the rate input rate here so let's say it is around 3000 rupees Pakistani the one which uh, I bought the cost of tiles this is equal to you require how many boxes now because one packet contains four tiles and the amount of uh, tiles which you require is, is 33 so this is equal to divided by 4 you get 8.25 so you have to round it off to the upper side so you can write it round up here you have to write the number of digits of 0 so 9 packets you require with the you can say factor of safety if you don't consider the factor of safety and then you want to see then only eight packets you require but it is always preferred that you keep the cap uh, factor of safety here the cost of tiles uh, number of packets are this one i am going to write number of packets required are nine and the cost of tiles will be nine multiplied with just yes, twenty seven thousand Pakistani rupees so this is the cost as well you can easily calculate the cost required to uh, completely fill one room of 10 feet by 12 feet with tiles now this cost does not include the cost of mortar the cost of um, other things only the cost of tiles is 27,000 rupees so thank you Allah Hafiz